Welcome to the Yoga Pantry with Tash. Today we're at Cornwall Park in this beautiful Kauri and Rimu forest. It's absolutely gorgeous here. And um, we're going to look at how to counteract jet lag. We're going to do a couple of things. The first thing I'll show you uh, what to do on the plane. And then the next thing will be just a little workout to stretch yourself out when you arrive. Put on those comfy pants and let's begin. So on this flight, um, I made sure that I stayed hydrated and um, also I did try and get as much rest as I could. But I also tried to do that on the flight over and I was jet lagged for four days on the flight home. However, I did a little bit of energy medicine, just a smidge of it. And what worked for, for me and hopefully it'll work for you is starting off with a sequence called the three thumps. Now, first of all, we're going to find our um, collarbones and just come to the end where those knobby bits are, come down about an inch and you'll find a little depression there. We're going to thump this. This is our K27 point it's one of our kidney points uh, kidney meridian lines and and it actually helps to activate and and re-energize all of the the other meridians as well so let's give that a good little thump out this helps to revitalize the body we're gonna inhale through the nose and out through the mouth just three of them is all you need And then we're going to move to the, th uh, the thymus gland. So the thymus gland is about two inches down from where you would find those kidney points and right in the center of your uh, sternum. So again, three thumps there. Now this is a really good one. You'll probably hear those thumps on the microphone. This is a good one for um, boosting your immunity, especially when you're sharing all of that air with everyone on the plane. and. It's also a lovely little revitalizer as well. So three deep breaths in. And you could massage if the thumping's not your thing. And then we're going to go to our last series of thumps. So come down to where your nipples are underneath the chest area and down about a rib cage and you'll nat naturally find um, a little depression there as well. This is our spleen meridian. Lovely to boost that immunity again and also great to give you that extra pep and um, vitality that you need when you're feeling a little tired. And just in general, the three thumps, it's a good all over body tonic as well. So lovely three breaths, inhaling. <sighs> And I did this in my seat, just while I was sitting. And then we're going to rub our hands together. Shake out any excess energy that we have. Don't worry about the people sitting next to you. If you're in your seat, um, it's fine. But if you can do this standing up, it's even better. So this is, th these are actually from Donna Eden, who is one of the gurus in the energy medicine field. So this is called um, Reaching Heaven and Earth. So we're going to reach up to heaven, all the way up, gaze up and down to the earth. Stretch it out and gaze upwards. I did this and it felt so good on the plane and I didn't care who could see me because I knew it was going to be good for me in the long run and it so was. You can stay here as long as you like, stretching it out, take those lovely deep breaths then we're going to swap sides, extend it out and I did this all in my seat and reach and you can do this three more times, two or three more times. I did it three times each time. And sometimes I just did it with my breath. Sometimes I held it there. Just really depends how you're feeling. We want to stretch out the body, lengthen and elongate that spine. And sometimes like you hit the ceiling. <laughs> so it's kind of good if you're, um, 
if you're standing somewhere else, shake that out. If you're sitting and you have space, you can fold forward. If you're standing, just a lovely little forward fold to let that spine lengthen out. We'll do the job beautifully. And you can shake out the head and neck. And then draw the belly button in, ragdoll yourself back up to standing. And you only need to do that sequence every, that, that's it, that's the sequence that I did. So every two hours, remember, make sure that you do stay hydrated as well, because that's a huge component in it as well. And if you can do any other stretches, go for it. But if you can just do those, drink some water, don't watch like hundreds of movies, get a little rest as well, and um, you will feel much better on your return home or on your arrival, especially if you've got a big day of conferences and stuff in front of you. Um, let me know if that works out for you. I would love to hear how, how it feels. So now let's move on to you've arrived home or you've arrived in your hotel and you're feeling and exhausted and tired and probably an energetic thing isn't what you want. If it is, sun salutes. Do those, they're awesome. There is a link right there to the sun salutes. Otherwise, if you just feel like you just want a good little stretch out, let's come down to the ground for a moment, just a moment. Come into a good little child's pose. So we let our hip flexors um, release and move out that booty for a bit. Stretch down into your child's pose, rock into here, stretch out those arms, rest the forehead onto the ground and rock it out a little bit so that you get that lovely connection to your third eye and let's bring our hands behind us and draw those up stretch them up and over to one side if it feels good maybe over to the other side let your body guide you use your intuition your body knows just instinctively what it needs and what feels good release the arms stay here for a few moments letting your hips release down towards your heels Now, if none of that feels good, you can stack here. You can be a little higher and you can tap the toes as well. And then let's roll ourselves up. Inhale, extend those arms, stretch it up. Interlace your fingers and stretch that out. And let's move to one side with the chest and the rib cage. Inhale up. Move to the other side. Mm. And then reach yourself up. And exhale, twist and open out the body. Inhale, extend. Exhale, twist and open to the other side. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, bring that down. Let's come to our tabletop and work the spine. Exhale, round into your cat, letting the chin tuck, stretching out. Feel free to rock a little bit here as well. See how that feels. Continue to breathe if you're hanging here for a bit. And then when you're ready, inhale up the other way. Maybe roll that gaze up to that spot between the eyebrows. Shambhavi Mudra. That just gives the eyes a little bit of an exercise too. Rock out the hips if that feels good. And then exhale into your cat. Inhale up. Exhale. Set a little mozzie on my foot. <laughs> a mosquito. And then go back to center. Tuck those toes, press into those heels. Stretch out those calf muscles and work out the feet because the feet have been sitting in place for so long. And then stretch into your down dog, tread it out. A down dog stretches out the whole body so it's a super lovely thing to do. Feel your way through your down dog. Play with it. Find your own organic movement. And that way you'll start to learn what works best and what feels best for you in a down dog and you'll fall in love with your downward facing dog. 
breathe let's stretch our right foot forward and we'll rock through our ankles here as well keep that breath going really enjoy your body enjoy this movement that you're bringing into it lengthening out through your hip flexors drop that back knee and uh, if you want to you can bring the hands up open them out let them come out let's roll those shoulders out inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale bring them back up inhale exhale that breath is so important just to release all of that stale air from your body step back into your down dog reach into it mm. <laughs> can't help it feels so good left foot comes forward and let's rock out on this side how's that feeling drop that back knee when you're ready see how it feels roll those shoulders out again lovely big rotations check in with the head and the neck too and how those arms up exhale let them slide down inhale it up exhale it down inhale it up and exhale release beautiful let's step to the top of our mat and hang soften the knees let the head hang out Feel it out, rock it out, side to side if that feels good, hold the elbows if that feels good, really just release yourself into your body, feel the deliciousness of the stretch, you can find stillness, you can find movement, it's your practice, maybe move the shoulders, find some fluidity, Bring your awareness to the back of your legs and notice that movement. And then we're going to draw our belly button in and roll ourselves up nice and slowly. Let the arms come up, reach up, extend up and back. Oh, hello, sunshine. Exhale, hands down in front of the heart center. Beautiful. Then reach yourself up. And let's grab hold of our right wrist, extend and reach over. That's my left wrist, so I'll, I'll do what I said. Right wrist, reach over to the left, send it out, feel it out, get a lovely stretch. Inhale, and this is all just easy and cruisy. Other side, extend, ah, inhale, exhale, release. See how you feel, drop your chin down to your chest. And then roll that ear over to one side, roll it to the other side, exhale it down. Back to center. And then roll it to the other side, inhale up. And exhale. Back to center. Inhale, reach those hands up again. Breathe it up, extend, maybe reach back and exhale. Hands down in front of the heart center. Let's interlace our fingers. Turn those palms out and reach them up so we get a good stretch through the fingers. We're going to pendulum a little bit from one side. And center over to the other side. And center, just keep on penduluming it out you can soften the knees and feel your way through and let's release that and we'll ragdoll ourselves back down so standing nice and comfortably soften those knees drop the head and start to collapse down through the spine core is in belly is in gently ragdolling down to the floor hang and breathe notice how the body's feeling now shake out that head and neck ah yeah it feels good maybe rock the weight a little bit we're pretty much almost done. 
Let's step our right foot back. And we'll rock that out again. Drop through that back knee for a moment. And then draw over your heel to stretch out those calf muscles and those quads and those hips. Breathe. If you want to come down, you can. Take your time here. Feel it out. Work with what feels good for your body. When you're ready, come back and let's stretch open. So one hand to your knee, the left hand to left knee, right hand planted underneath your shoulder. And in fact, to get a nice big stretch, we'll heel toe that foot out to the edge of the mat, let the hip open and open the heart to the sky. Draw your shoulders down the back. <sighs> Little bugs in here in nature. <laughs> And then release, heel toe back to center. Lift that back leg, straighten it out, step back. Reach into your down dog and let's go ahead, reach forward with the other leg. Rock it out again, check in, see how that feels. Feels awesome. <laughs> into that lovely lunge, feel it out. Mm -mm. And then roll over your heel, toes towards your face, chest to the front. Breathe it out. And then back into center. And if you wanted to hang here a little bit longer, go a little deeper, a little lower, you can. And just pause the video or just let me rattle on while you enjoy your own bliss. Coming into that lunge, let's heel toe out to the edge of the mat. My right hand comes under my shoulder, left hand to my knee. If it's comfortable, you can roll to the edge of the foot, but you don't have to do that at all. Open, open the heart, draw your shoulders down the back. Breathe. And release. Walk the foot back in. Last down dog, because down dogs are so great for the body. Stretch it out, feel how this down dog feels for you now. Play with that. Let's go ahead, draw up down into a child's pose. Take some lovely full deep breaths here. Inhale, lift the body. Now we're going to come onto our back. Let me shift everything around here. <laughs> onto your backs. Hug those knees in. Rock around. Release the left leg. Hug your right knee in. And extend it over to the left side, releasing your right arm out, rest, soften. If that doesn't feel good, just stack those knees instead. Twists are great for the body, they're detoxifying, they help to move that spine around and keep it nice and mobile and flexible. They're just good, they're just good. Unless it doesn't feel good, then it's not good. And then come back to centre, release that right leg, hug your left leg in. And we'll roll over to the other side. Extend and release. Breathe. Soften. Relax. There's some cool birds flying around up here. Wish you could see it. It's really awesome. And then release out. 
come back to center. If you have a wall, pull yourself up against the wall and we'll do legs up the wall. Otherwise, maybe you don't, and there's no wall that's convenient or a bed or anything like that. If you want to, you can place a block or a big fat book underneath the hips as well, underneath the sacrum area. Just lift those legs up. Rest your arms wherever you like, pretending my legs are against the wall, or you can just join me and, and do a little bit of an ab workout at the same time. Rolling out those ankles. Breathe. If it feels better to have the knees bent if you don't have a wall and you're hanging here, this is okay too. You can stay at that wall for as long as you like and when you're done, just roll down. Maybe come into a happy baby or if you're not by the wall, come into a happy baby with me and we'll open up our hips a little bit. And this is lovely because we get to lie down, which you don't get to do on a plane unless you were traveling first class um, and our feet are still up. So all of that fluid can drain out as well. And the deep full breaths that you take, that'll help as well release that lymphatic um, drainage through the body. <sighs> release the feet, drop those knees in together, interlace the fingers, stretch them up. Extend out, mm, extend those legs, extend out, <sighs> roll on up because we're not going to finish with the Shavasana, we're going to finish with Nadi Shodhana, some alternate nostril breathing to balance out the breath and also get the lymphatic system working and getting you feeling really good. If you want to, you can couple it with your three thumps that we did at the start there. So you can do the tap, 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 with the three breaths as well to, to bring that energy into the body right now. Let's use our right hand. Right thumb closes the right nostril and inhale through the left. And then close that left nostril with the ring finger. Exhale through the right. Inhaling right, close, exhaling left, that is one complete round, inhaling left, exhale right, inhale right, Exhale, left. Inhale, left. Exhale, right. Inhale, right. Exhale, left. We'll do one more together. Inhaling left. Exhaling right. Inhaling right. Exhaling left. You can bring your hands down, breathe through both nostrils, or you can continue and do a few more rounds of that. It's lovely and calming, it's relaxing, it'll help you sleep well as well. So hopefully that feels really good after a big long flight or a big car journey as well, just to move the body, stretch out, nothing vigorous, a little bit of self-love, a little bit of self-care, a little bit of balancing out the systems in our body. Let me know if that works for you 
or maybe if you'd like something else let me know as well i'm always happy to create a video that suits your individual needs thank you so much for joining me today and if you want more on that nadi shodana you can check out the video up there <laughs> namaste